Hey everyone, this is a tutorial video for how to build the small triambic icosahedron. Now the first thing you're going to need is an icosahedron. And this is exactly the same as the one that I built in my old tutorial video for this. So I'll post a link and you can see how to make it. Although I guess I shouldn't have said exactly the same. It's the same size, but one small difference that I did for this shape is that I put individual pentagons on the inside corners of this to reinforce a little bit more. And I don't think that's perfectly necessary, but it helps. So if you want to save yourself 60 magnets, you can skip that, and then it would be exactly like in the video. The other thing you're going to need are 20 of these subunits. The way that you make those is you start off with six stacked rings of 16 magnets per ring. You flatten them out, cut them up into edge pieces, you attach the edge pieces together at the corners and then bend them around until they all touch together. Then you bend them up and then you can take a chain and you see the three magnets that form a small triangle there. You can remove them carefully and you are left with this. And then you want to slide one of these over so that it does that. And then you want to bend the legs down until you see these three magnets here on the underside until they click together like that. And that's how far you want to bend it. Um, then there will be three uneven legs. There will be a short one, a medium one, and a long one. From the medium leg, you want to just remove two magnets. And from the long leg, you want to remove four magnets. Then all the legs will be even, and that's how you make those. You need 20 of them. And now, really all that remains is to attach these to the icosahedron. And the way that you do that is you take them, and these just fit nice and easy into the inside corners of the triangular faces, just like that. And so you want to go ahead and do that to all five of them around one corner. Okay, now once you've completed five faces that are all surrounding one corner, you want to stop for just a second because you need to do something special just to these five to create a flat surface for this to stand on when it's done. And all you need to do is make rings of nine magnets and you need five of those rings. And then you take them and you want to set them, attach them to the legs of these three-sided points, the leg that's pointing in towards this corner. So the way you want to do it, let's see, I have that polarity backwards. You want them to kind of interlock in on top, just like that. And you want to do that to all five of these. Okay, and now that you've done that, you can go ahead and flip this over onto those, and there should be a nice flat surface for it to sit on. And now the only thing left is you just attach all the rest of these to all the rest of the triangular faces. And there you go. That is the small triambic icosahedron. Um, pretty simple to make as far as my tutorials go. Um, and that's all there is to it. So I guess I will smash it now.